Hi guys, this is Jay Kartigan here. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use the recently launched Arduino IoT Cloud platform to interface with an Maker 1000 board and switch on and switch off an LED using the same. Let's go ahead and see how we can set it up. First, let's go to the Arduino Create website and click on the Arduino IoT Cloud. Once we are in here, you need to create an account if you don't have one. I'm going to use my Gmail account to log in. So once I'm in here, I need to create a new thing, which is nothing but an instance to remember my Maker 1000 board or the Maker Wi Fi 1010 board. I have a Maker 1000. I'm going to select that and we'll be setting up the board to be configured with the Arduino IoT Cloud. First, let's install the Arduino Create plugin and the Arduino Create IoT Cloud interface to configure with it. So once you have downloaded the plugin, we need to go ahead and install it. Once your installation is complete, it's going to detect your plugin, which is over here. You can just see it. So let's go ahead and click on next. Now we need to connect the board. Before that, let's install some drivers as suggested. I am plugging in my Maker 1000 board to the laptop. So the create plugin has detected my board. I'm going to give it a name. And this is the cool part of it. So there is a crypto chip in the Arduino Maker 1000 board. So which enables you to encrypt the data that you are sending from your device to the cloud so there is no hacking in between so let's go ahead and configure that chip So there we go, our Maker 1000 board has been set up correctly and added to the device manager. Let's go back to the cloud. Once we are back in the cloud, so it's going to show you the device that we have created here. So that's the thing basically. So let's create a name for it. So project okay it doesn't accept a special character so there we are we are in the thing edit view where you can just go ahead and get a property which is going to be say LED and then going to be on or boolean because we are going to turn on and turn off an LED here and click on create 
So once we have created that, we can go ahead and edit the code. So in the code, you can see that there are totally four files, which is your main file in here, and you have the secret where you have to enter your SSID and password. I'm going to go ahead and enter mine. So this is a SSID and password of the Wi-Fi to which you want the Make 1000 board to connect so that it gets the access for the internet and this is the properties file where you have the Arduino IoT cloud library and the Wi-Fi connection manager library and some definitions where this is going to be your ID for this make a 1000 board to connect to the cloud and you have this variable which has been created automatically for you the code is generated where so it is added to the properties here. So this is your main file where we are going to set up the pin number 6 as an output which is the pin number of the inbuilt LED on the Mega 1000 board and we are going to write the digital output of the LED value for that pin when on LED change function is being called. So that is mentioned over here. So when this Arduino dot cloud Arduino cloud dot add property is being initialized it creates the variable and the permissions for it and on change what it has to do so this function is going to get triggered whenever there is a change in the LED value when you set it up in the Arduino cloud platform so you have a basic explanation of this over here and over here as well. So we are done with this. Let's go ahead and upload the code. There we go, we have uploaded the code. Let's go back to the IoT Cloud. So in here, you have the dashboard as well, where you can easily now click on this. You see this LED turning on and off, on and off. So that was simple. In our next video, we'll see how we can get data from the board and send it back to the cloud and throw it over here.